The last uh, prompting technique and the newest one on the block directional stimulus prompting and this is uh, very interesting if you want to have specific task uh, uh, specific information from the task from the LLM. For example, suppose you want to know the annual earning of the company for software or for consulting. So you are going to ask it in a manner that you are going to get in the information about a specific uh, area so this helps the llm to give hints according to the proper area that you want to target at and this is how it works it is a very new thing that is there and direct uh, stimulus prompting is uh, beneficial if you want very specific things that you are asking right from your llm and from your prompt and Generally, what we are telling and just to summarize all the different four techniques, uh, not one technique will help you solve a problem. You should always start with retrieval augmented generation for ground truth, right? To grounding the truth and to get information from your knowledge base. That is one thing that you should start with. And then you need to use a combination of uh, React or DSP to make more value out of this particular thing, right? And uh, this is very, very interesting. Also the COT chain of thought and react also becomes very good. This is one way of doing it together if you want to combine two chain of thought where, where, when I mention chain of thought when you are breaking down the solution into uh, small small uh, things like I want sales of a particular software sales of consulting then and then you want to add up the total sale and then you can act it add it with a uh, with the different different uh, prompting techniques and uh, you can uh, ask it to help of react where it is going to not only give you information from the uh, private data uh, from the uh, but also from the public data as I gave you example of the in the previous video about comparing the sales uh, revenues of a company in 2023 versus 2010 and these things are very very interesting so having a good knowledge of these four prompting techniques is very good for you uh, to put your uh, uh, toolkits in hand right we any problem that you get regarding the LLM understand these four prompting techniques and try to use always start with REG I always tell all my clients start with retrieval augmented generation try to focus on your local knowledge base try to get the information from your knowledge base and after that try to improve your uh, prompting techniques by different different uh, options right as one here is chain of thoughts and this things when you are uh, doing it will not only improve your application but it is going to improve the way you are also thinking and uh, building these applications that are there and uh, try out these things that are there four techniques that are very very important and understand one thing that uh, LLMs are good for inferencing they have been trained on uh, billions of parameters of data so they know where to get information from uh, but the information should come from the local knowledge base that is why platforms like aws azure gcp are very much betting on their already created infrastructure where they have a very good knowledge base and then they are bringing up these LLMs open source closed source to help them in building an end-to-end -end solution that is going to help them in solving business problems end of the day these techniques whatever I'm discussing you is a different way of building applications for solving real business problems so always think top down what business problem you are trying to solve which technique will help you reach your goal faster and in a much much better and effective way so hope to see you in the next video have a great day